Alright, this is the fifth subtopic, which is ellipse. And first, we will see the definition of an ellipse, and then equation of an ellipse, and then determining the center and foci by completing the square, and also the parametric equation of ellipse. So you will have two types of equation. First one will be the standard form, and the second one will be the parametric equation. Okay. So what is an ellipse? Uh, an ellipse is the set of all points in the plan, the sum of whose distance from two fixed points in the plan is a constant. The two fixed points are called foci or known as capital F of the ellipse. So this is a ellipse, uh, lebih kurang uh, dalam bahasa Melayunya, lebih kurang macam bujur lah. Okay. So you will have center, quite similar with a circle. You have center, um, but this one you have another uh, additional for the label like foci and also you have vertex like that. So this is your center. And remember if we have learned parabola before. So when you have parabola like this, half of the ellipse is actually the parabola, right? Separuh daripada ellipse so adalah parabola. And of course, when you have parabola, you will have a vertex over here. Dekat bucu, dekat bawah. So, you have one over here, V1, vertex one. And the other one, you will have uh, V2, okay? So, when you have two vertex, you will call it as vertices. And you have uh, first F, and as well as when you have parabola again, Separuh daripada ada parabola, you have foc vertex and you have focus. But since uh, in ellipse, you will have two focus, one over here and one over here, you will call it as foci. Okay, you have one over here and one over here. Yang dipisahkan, which is separated by the center over here. And you will also have this one, M1 and M2. And L1 and L2, so L3 and L4. Okay. Later on, we will see what are these M1, M2, L1, L2, L3, L4. Okay. Okay, let's see first. The figure shown an ellipse with two foci, F1 and F2. So you have one F1, F2 foci. Uh, if in parabola, we call it as focus. Okay? And a point P, X, Y on the ellipse. Ada satu point over here. From definition, P, F1 plus P, F2 uh, is equal to constant. So dia kata kalau P, F1 tu ke P, F2, kalau kita tambah this two length, or these two distance, you will have you will have a constant, and then the midpoint of segment F1 F2 is called the center. Ah, so they kata dekat sini midpoint titik tengah untuk point F1 and F2 we call it as center. So ini adalah titik tengah lah. Maksudnya dekat dari sini ke sini dan sini ke sini length dia sama. Ah, uh, point V1 and V2 are the vertices of the ellipse. Ah, uh, remember. In parabola, we call it as vertex. But since in ellipse, you have two. Ada pasangan dia kan? We have a pair of V. So, V1 and V2, we call it as vertices. And segment V1, V2 is called the major axis. Uh, kalau kita part sambungkan, from here, this vertices until this vertices, V1 until V2, satu straight line ni kita panggil sebagai major, major axis dia lah yang panjang. Major axis, the one, the longest one. And the segment M1, M2 is the minor axis. Uh, yang potong center ni, M1 to M2, this one is minor axis. Uh, ini yang pendek sikit lah. And segment L1 to L2, over here L1 to L2 and also L3 to L4, this one we call as lattice rectum. Uh, they cross this segment and this segment. Not in the middle lah. Uh, so, this is let, lattice rectum, eh? ada dua. So, I hope you can uh, see clearly and differentiate clearly what is ellipse and what is parabola. Although there are few uh, label or few things quite the same like F and V. But in here, we call V as vertices and F as foci. Okay? 
Okay, let's see there are four cases of and four types of equation for ellipse with different different type of center. Uh, quite similar with parabola. Uh, if parabola we have cent vertex kan? Yang tengahnya kita panggil vertex kalau dekat parabola. We have vertex 0, 0. But now in ellipse you will have center. Center yang 0, 0 and the foci yang berubah. Uh, so you will have like uh, four cases. Two with that, uh, with center 0, 0. And the one with foci yang changing, satu adalah changing x axis. The other one um, yang changing adalah x, I'm uh, sorry, y axis. And the third case will be when you have center hk. It's no longer 0, 0. You have center hk. And the foci will be like this. H plus or minus. And the other one, a h plus or minus c. Previously in parabola you have p, kan? Uh, but now in ellipse you will have c, center there. Okay. Ah, uh, not sorry. Yes, not center. Eh? The c ni is actually uh, another constant lah that we need to figure out later, and also the fourth cases. Okay. And let's see the first equation of ellipse. Uh, with center 0, 0 and foci plus or minus C and 0. Okay, the ellipse has its uh, foci on the x-axis. Uh, dia kata dia ada foci dia on x-axis. So, kita tahulah kita draw macam ni lah. Ni x-axis kan? Bukannya dekat y-axis. Foci dia dekat x-axis. So, you draw satu F1 and the other one is F2 lah. So, it's up to you whether you want to put it over here is F1, over here it become F2 also can. Uh, and then you have center and you have two vertices, V1 and V2, okay? And of course, uh, this one is what we call as major axis. When you have major axis, you will have also minor axis, M1 and M2 over here. So, you just label it lah. This is the simplest one. Okay, so since you see your center is 0, 0. So, you will have like uh, for foci, dia dah bagi tahu foci tu 1 plus 1 minus C. So, maksudnya dia bertambah lah dari sini kan, daripada ni ke sini dia bertambah sebanyak C unit. So, C uh, and 0. The other one is negative C and 0 sebab dia anjak ke kiri. So, it become negative C. And... If you see over here, daripada center tu ke V, you have A. Daripada center ke V, dia ada satu length lagi A, which we call as A. Like this one. From center to here, we call it as A. Jadinya, kalau we have on this left hand side, you will have negative a. And the y axis remain 0. Dia tidak ada perubahan pada paksi y. Eh? So, it remain 0. Uh, cuma ada sedikit perubahan dekat sini lah untuk the minor axis. Sebab minor axis ni, dia anjak ke bawah, anjak ke atas. So, yang berubahnya adalah B dekat sini lah. We call this length to this length. Oh, sorry, this point to this point. Uh, this length is B. Okay. So, sama juga. Yang bawah ni pun B. That's why it become plus B and the other one is negative B. Okay. And you have some other po uh, one point over here, P, X, Y. So, this P is just a random point. You can put it anywhere in the ellipse. So, we obtain an equation of ellipse which is this one. So, you have to memorize this one. Yeah? X square over A square plus Y square over B square equal to 1. Okay, untuk ellipse, dia always equal to 1. Ya? Yang ada bentuk pecahan macam ni, equal to 1 ni adalah ellipse. Where A square minus C square square root equal to B. Ha. Sebab you only can find A and B. Sometimes you can only find A and B. And sometimes you can only find C. Uh, okay, the rest, uh, the other one you need to figure it out. Okay, let's see. Ini lebih kurang macam tadilah that I have explained. Cuma yang ada extra dekat sini, the length of the major axis is 2A. Okay, since I mentioned just now, 
from this point C center to vertices, this is A, right? So, kalau kita ada dua vertices dari V1 ke C and then daripada C ke V2, you have the length S to A. Dua kali A lah. So, sama juga yang ini. Kalau yang ini ke sini, dia adalah B, right? Uh. Eh, sorry. Kenapa pula dia ada straight line over there? So, you have like B over here. And Sam like similar over here. You have like B as well. So, untuk minor axis, you have 2B. Kalau major axis, you have 2A. Minor axis, you have 2B. Dua kali length B ni. Okay, since you have this formula, S square minus C square, square root equal to B. Therefore, the length of the lattice rectum. Ha, jadi, daripada yang ni, you actually boleh obtain length of lattice rectum. Mana satu lattice rectum? Over here. Uh, this is lattice rectum. This one is lattice rectum. Eh? So, you have like L1, L3, L4. Over here, L1, L2. This is lattice rectum. Lattice rectum, L1, L2. Oh, L3 to L4. Ha, macam mana mau cari? Untuk L3 and L4, you use this formula. Okay, properties of an ellipse with horizontal major axis. So, this is what we call horizontal major axis. Dia mendatar, kan? Horizontal. Major axisnya pada paksi X. So, you have this equation. Just now, x square over a square plus y square over b square equal to 1. With a and b must be greater than 0. Bawah ni must be greater than 0. The denominator over here must be greater than 0. And the vertices, vertices tu kita tahulah yang ni kan, plus or minus 0. 1 tambah a, 1 minus a over here. And the major axis, length dia adalah 2 kali a. This one to this one, you have two A. Uh, A and the other one, if you have another A, that's why it become two A. So, sama lah. Ini apa yang uh, I have explained before. So, this is what we call as uh, ellipse with horizontal major axis. So, now you can see this is vertically. Okay, this is what we call as ellipse with vertically or uh, vertically major axis. Uh, so sekarang yang major axisnya menegak V1 to V2. Masih juga sama V1 to V2 cuma dia vertical. Uh, so you still have your C over here 0 0. Your C is 0 0. So samalah. Uh, yang berubahnya daripada daripada sini ke sini you have A. Uh, the other one, you have negative A. But remember, this is your minor axis. Yeah? Your foci dekat sini. Uh, foci tu dia mesti bersebelah dengan focus. Bukan pula dekat sini. Uh, foci dia next to focus. Uh, foci next to vertices. Sorry. So, sama jugalah daripada sini ke sini. You have C. Uh, yang berubahnya adalah paksi Y. Okay, satu lagi negatif C. So, this one over here yang straight line color merah ni, what we call as lattice rectum lah. Okay. So, this is the other second properties. Sama juga X square over A square plus Y square over B square equal to 1. Tapi dengan syarat B greater than A. Greater than 0. Maksudnya B tu lagi besar. Kenapa B tu lagi besar? Because of this one. Dia dah terbalik. B tu lagi besar daripada A. Kalau tadi kita kata A tu lagi besar daripada B. Ha, sebab A tu di sini. Major axis dia adalah A. That's why A tu lagi besar daripada B. But this one, you have... B tu yang lagi besar daripada A. Jarak B tu 
lebih besar daripada A. A tu cuma dari sini ke sini. Okay. So you have this uh, major axis there. It's no longer A. It's become 2B. Sebab this is the major axis yang panjang ni. Dua kali B lah. So dari sini ke sini is B. Uh, the, the other one lagi dekat sini B lagi kan. Dua kali B lah. And then the mi minor axis. Minor axis ada yang ini. Uh, so dari sini ke sini you have A. So it's become 2A lah. And the foci you have 0 plus or minus C. Uh, so always daripada center ke foci always we use C. Eh? Bukan A bukan B but C. Because of this length. From center to foci we call it as C. Small letter C. And we have our lattice rectum. Lattice rectum is 2A square over B. Okay. Okay, let's see the example. Find the foci, vertices and lengths of the lattice rectum, major and minor axis for ellipse, uh, which the equation are give, uh, is given here. x square over 9 plus y square over 4 equal to 1. Okay, and sketch, you need to sketch the graph of course. So, if you recall back, the formula for the ellipse is given like this, right? x square over a square plus y square over b square equal to 1. So, usually ellipse must be equal to 1. Okay, see, let's see the solution. Since the denominator of x square is larger, the ellipse has horizontal major axis. Uh, itu cara kita tentukan sama ada kita punya ellipse tu horizontally or vertically bentuk dia. So, we need to refer back to our a and b. Kan kalau tengok uh, sebelum ni, dia ada bagi tahu formula dia. Kalau A greater than B, then dia uh, horizontal. Kalau B greater than A, then dia vertical. So, obviously, your A dekat sini and your B dekat sini. But remember, this is for A square and this is for B square. So, you need to figure out what is your A. So, kalau ini adalah A square, 9 is equal to A square, then your A must be 3. And your B square equal to 4, then your B must be but still A greater than B. 3 is greater than 2. So you know that uh, you will have uh, an ellipse uh, with horizontal major axis. Okay, dia me mendatar lah, melintang. Okay, how to find you have A and you have B. Next, you're going to find uh, C. Okay, uh, so uh, we have a formula over here. C square equal to A minus B. Uh, if you check back from the previous slide, you will have S square minus B to find the C. Okay, so C is actually equal to square root of 5. Okay, next. Uh, what we're going to do next, when we you already have A, B and C. So remember, to find your focus or your, this one, foci, this 2, F1 and F2. Uh, since kita dah tahu dia adalah horizontal, so yang berubah, the one that keep changing, uh, the x axis, uh, coordinates of x axis. So, 1 plus or minus square root of 5 and then uh, dia adalah 0. Okay, since kita tahu dia punya center is 0, 0. This one is the center, yeah? 0, 0. And the vertices, uh, so kita tahu vertices tu dekat luar lagi kan? Uh, so, kita tahu lah, vertices is actually, you use the A, kan? Uh, yang kita dapat tadi, A. This, this one. So, plus or minus A equal to, uh, plus or minus A, comma, zero. So, your vertices is this one, and the other one is this one. Okay, kita tahu satu adalah negative 3, zero. The other one is 3, zero. Uh, same go to the foci. F1 and F2, the other one is negative uh, square root 5 the, uh, and then on the right hand side, the, you will have square root 5. Okay, okay. since you already have the picture, uh, the nampak dah bayang-bayang, how your ellipse will look like. Okay. Um, actually, when you have this thing, A, B and C, you can straight away draw your uh, and you know that it's horizontal ex major axis, you can straight away Draw this one, okay? Yeah. 
it so you can um, have better picture where to put your F, where to put your where to label your V, C, letter rectum and so on. Okay, next uh, we need to find the letter rectum. Remember, letter rectum adalah yang ini, the one that uh, sketch. Uh, no, not not sketch. I'm sorry, the one yang divide your apa half of the ellipse. Dekat sini dia potong. Eh? So, it is uh, the formula for ellipse is 2B square over A. Uh, so, dia akan, uh, since dekat sini, B kan? Uh, 2B square over A. Okay, ni jarak dari sini ke sini. Daripada center ni, naik ke atas ni, kita panggil jarak ni sebagai B. B square over A. Okay, so you uh, plug in the value. B apa, A apa, then you get 8 over So, length of rectus rectum panjang ni dari sini ke sini adalah 8 over 3. And now you need to find length of major axis juga. So, you know that your major axis is from V sini ke hujung V sini. So, how do you find your length of major axis? We have the formula which is equal to 2A. So, ganti masuk what it is your A. 2A is equal to? 6 and of course you need to find the length of minor axis as well this is your length of minor axis okay uh, you have over here to over here the length is 2 and from here center to this part you have another 2 units so 2 times 2 you get 4 units okay so this is how your uh, graph look like Okay, for the uh, horizontal like, major axis ellipse. And don't forget to label uh, each of the vertices, foci, center, and over here the laratus rectum that you uh, have figured out. Okay, don't forget to label your diagram. Okay, we move on to the next case. Our next situation where the equation of ellipse with center HK and foci H plus or minus C, comma, K. Okay, um, this is quite different from what you have learned previously. This one, as you can see, the formula is this, can we only have A and B? Uh, this is because your center is 0, 0. But what happened when you shifted your center to a new coordinate HK, which is this one? They're no longer dekat 0, 0. Ni sama macam yang kita buat parabola tu lah. Okay, ada case untuk yang mana center dia 0, 0. And you also have the when the center H and K, you shifted few units, H and K units. So, dekat sini, and you will also have foci, new foci. So, what you can, um, from what, from your observation, you can see that the one that keep changing, the one that is changing is uh, coordinate X, see? This one is H and this one is H plus or minus C. Okay. So, yang berubah adalah koordinat paksi X. Okay, since kita tahu dia yang berubah adalah koordinat paksi X, then you terus dapat idea, this is actually horizontal punya ellipse. Horizontally ellipse. Ellipse dalam bentuk yang lebih kurang macam ni. Ha, sebab yang berubahnya adalah paksi X. Okay, if an ellipse with center is at the origin and its major axis horizontal, it shifted H units horizontally and K units vertically. Okay, we will get an ellipse with center HK if foci were at this one and new foci will be this one. So, kalau kita tengok, foci dia, dia kata H plus C. Ada yang baru lah. So, the equation of this type of ellipse, yang mana yang berubah tu adalah pada paksi X, you have this kind of formula. X minus H square over A square plus Y minus K square over B square, which is equal to 1. And for this case, you will have A greater than B. A ni dalam case ni sama juga macam tadi. A tu lebih besar daripada B. Okay. Yang mana kalau A lagi besar daripada B, A ni kan berada di bawah X kan? So, kalau A tu berada di bawah X, you terus detect, okay, that one is horizontal. A lebih besar daripada B. 
and B always di bawah Y. Okay, so you have this kind of formula. Uh, daripada formula ni, we will have new uh, looks of our ellipse. So you have this center, HK, and below you shift ke kanan, to the right, you will have H plus C. Uh, yang mana C tu adalah length. Jarak daripada center sini ke foci. That's when you have H plus C. Okay. And coordinate K tidak berubah. Uh, sebab coordinate paksi Y tidak berubah. And bila uh, you shifted to the left, you will have H minus C. That one is foci. And how about the vertices? Uh, kalau vertices, maksudnya jarak daripada center sini ke sini. Ini kan selalu jarak A kan? Kalau dari center keluar ke vertices, tu adalah jarak A. Uh, so, kita tambah H plus A. And kalau daripada center sini, you shifted to the left, undur ke belakang beberapa unit, dia H minus A. Uh, and the Y axis, this K, remain the same. Okay, so uh, the difference, this kind of ellipse daripada yang kita nampak tadi, kalau yang, yang obvious adalah, sini adalah 0, 0. But now your center is no longer dekat sini. Your center dah dekat sini. Uh, so, lain sikit lah rupa bentuk uh, ellipse tu. Okay, but the formula, I, I'm sorry, the formula also uh, ada a bit changes lah. Uh, see, di kat sini dia ada X minus H and Y minus K. Kalau ori original, you have macam ni. X square, Y square over A square, eh, macam ni saja. You don't have H and K. But since this one, the shifted H and K unit, uh, jadilah macam ni. Okay. Okay, so I hope you can clearly differentiate when to use these two uh, different uh, formulas. One, Yang ni, original, bila you have 0, 0 punya center. And the other one is this one. Ni lah. Yang ada sebutan H and K, maksudnya dia center dia tu bukan dekat 0, 0. Center dia tu berada dekat H and K. Okay. Okay, we go to the fourth cases, which is the last one. Uh, equation of ellipse with center HK and foci HK plus my or minus C. Uh, and C for this one, the difference uh, or the one that is changing is Y coordinate. Uh, K, sini K and then foci dia K plus or minus C. Yang maksudnya yang berubah tu adalah coordinate paksi Y. Kalau kita dah tahu dia berubah di coordinate paksi Y, so you straight away imagine that your graph will be vertical. Uh, your major axis there tu dekat vertical axis lah. Sorry, dekat y axis. So, still you have the same formula. Formula tu tidak berubah. X minus H square over A square plus Y minus K square over B square. Equal to 1. Masih sama. It's just that dia punya syarat tu yang different. This one, dia kata B tu greater daripada A. Ha, kalau just now, yang horizontal punya, A tu lagi besar daripada B. But now, dia dah bagi syarat dia. B greater daripada A. Meaning that, B ni kan dekat bawah Y. Meaning that, uh, your graph, your ellipse will be on hori, uh, vertical. Vertical, eh? dekat Y axis. So, this is how your ellipse looks like. Okay. I'm sorry for the background noise. Okay, uh, so this is how your ellipse. Uh, you will have your center over here, H and K. You have your foci over here, and the other one is over here. And C, the H and H remain the same. Tidak berubah. The one that is changing is your uh, coordinate paksi Y dekat sini. And dekat sini. Okay, let me... Okay. Okay, dekat sini, dari sini ke sini. Ni adalah C. Okay, jarak C. Ini ke sini juga jarak dia adalah C unit. Eh? Okay, that's why you have 1 plus C. Bila turun ke bawah, dia minus C. And for... And how do you find your C? C tu nanti you carilah guna formula A... 
c equal to a square minus b b square kan ha, nanti you cari yang tu formula dia so your a dia dah terbalik pula kalau tengok tadi a kita major exist kan but since sekarang dia kata yang major exist tu adalah uh, paksi y so yang ni lah yang akan jadi blank of major exist this one to this one you will have b ya yeah? Uh oh you will have b dia dah berubah ikut uh, dia punya situation kalau tadi yang panjang ni adalah dua kali a major axis kita tadi adalah dua kali a but since this one is vertical yang panjang tu adalah b tu that's why this one become to b and terbalik pula the minor axis become to a sebab so, minor axis tu dah berada dekat sini and sama juga ah this is the formula that i mentioned just now how to find c This is how you're going to find your C. And let us write them. Ah, let us write them tu dekat mana? Let us write them tu dekat sini. Yang potong dekat sini ni lah. Okay. Inilah let us write them. Dia berkerat sini. Okay. So this let us write them. Uh, macam mana cari formula dia sama juga. 2A square over B. Okay. Kalau tengok yang tadi. Let us write them dia 2B square over A. So, let us write them tu kan dekat sini. Ha, dia potong macam ni kan. Let us write them. This one. So, B 2B square over A. Kalau this case pula, dia dekat sini. Let us write them tu. Ha, so, 2A square over B. Dia tengok apa yang koordinat dekat sini. A lah kan. 2A square over B. So, uh, jangan terlalu rigid on your, terlalu fokus on the formula. Hafal bulat-bulat. But uh, the thing is that you need to understand or you need to differentiate the situation that you are facing. Okay, for example this one. Yeah, it's no longer horizontal. So, you tidak boleh lah. Uh, just buta-buta follow the formula yang macam just now. 2B, 2A. Bila the situation or the cases berubah, this thing also berubah. Uh, yang fix tu adalah yang ini. Formula yang ini yang fix. But this one, yang bawah-bawah ni akan berubah. Vertices, major axis, minor axis, focal, lattice rectum tu. Dia berubah ikut the situation. Ya. Yeah? Okay, let's see the next example. Sketch the graph of the ellipse uh, where you have this kind of equation. You see, um, so you can compare with the previous equation that we have to identify your A and your B and determine the, uh, determine the coordinate of the foci. Okay, so they minta kamu cari foci pula. So center, uh, how do you find your center? You, of course, you need to find your H N. Okay, this is your H and this is your K. Yeah? Uh, from this formula, we can see that our center, uh, which is H and K, if you refer back to this formula, uh, so you know that the one with X is H and this one is your K. So, H equal to negative 1 and your K equal to 2. Yeah? So, uh, next you going to identify your A and your B. Yeah? Okay, for the A and B, we refer to the denominator, which is this one. So, this is ref, uh, the 4 over here, refer to A square and 9 over here is B square. So, you need to find your A and your B. So, meaning that your A is 2 and your B equal to 3. See, from here, you can see that the B is uh, greater than A, which means B tu kan di bawah y uh, meaning that the major axis will be y axis or the ellipse will be vertical uh, so the major axis is vertical and so this is how the ellipse looks like uh, we will have major axis on the y axis or vertically uh, ellipse like this so this is your center uh, with the value hk so we determine our h and k just now which is 
h equal to uh, negative 1 and k equal to 2. So, it is over here. The center h and k and then you will have your foci. One over here and the other one is over here. Which is this one. Uh, so, uh, but for foci, you need to plus or minus c, remember? So, how do you obtain your c is using this formula. Since you already have your b square and a square, so you can find your c, which is square root of 5. Meaning that for your foci, you need to plus or minus square root of 5 at the y-axis over here. Okay. Um, and then the other one, you also need to find your vertices at the end over here and another one is over here and for the lattice rectum uh, you can just cross over like this okay and this is as uh, actually i'm sorry this is not your lattice rectum your lattice rectum should be over here okay this one is the one that cross the center is actually your minor axis so from here to here this is your minor Exist and this one vertically is your major axis. Okay, now we see how to determine the center and foci by completing the square. So, um, so you have this formula before for ellipse. We only have one formula or two formula for ellipse. The one with center zero zero and this one is for center h and k. Okay, so we use completing the square method to determine the center and the foci. Okay, this is the equation which uh, represent ellipse need to reduce it into this form so that you can identify the H, K, A, B and from there you can find your center as well as your foci and vertices. Lah. So, uh, since uh, this example need you to use completing the square, so what we're going to do next is we're going to compile uh, yang mana ada X, you kumpulkan sekali. Yang ada sebutan Y, you kumpulkan sekali. So, let it the constant remain over here. So, uh, from here, 9 bracket X square minus 8X. So, what happened is that um, uh, this one is your B, right? So, biasanya kalau um, quadrat completing the square, you need to B to you divide by 2 and then you square kan dia. So, in this case, 8 ni divide by 2. That's why you get 4. Uh, and then you close bracket, square and the whole thing. And you minus 16. Uh, okay. And then the other one, you plus 16 over here. And y plus 1 square minus 1. Uh, yang ni pula, why is it you have y plus 1? Because 2 divide by 1. Sorry, 2 divide by 1. 2 divide by 2. Eh? So 2 divide by 2, you get 1. And then you square over it. Okay, and... This one, negative 1, is because the 16. Should be the 16 is is inside, but then we uh, factorize the letak dia dekat luar. Okay, then, uh, you dah buat macam ni. So, you just expand whatever you have over here until you get like this. Dan last sekali, uh, you can obtain like this. Uh, from here, you dah nampak ada, ada sinar untuk kita selesaikan dia supaya dia jadi bentuk yang macam ni. So, what happen next is you're going to divide the whole equation with 144. Bahagikan semua sekali ni dengan 144. So, bila you bahagikan semua ni dengan 144, this one will become 1. And this one, 16 over 144, 9 over 144. Okay, bahagikan ke semua. So, you will get like this. So, this is the ellipse equation yang kita jumpa earlier. So, from here, you can obtain your H and your K and your A, also your B. So, your H is equal to 4, your K equal to negative 1. And this is your A, A square. This is your B square. So, A square is 16, meaning A is 4. And B square is 9, meaning your B is 3. So, from here, A is greater than B. Okay? So, meaning that your ellipse will be vert, uh, horizontal. Macam ni mendatar. Maksudnya, so, major axis tu dipaksi X. Uh, macam ni lah. So, since you already have your A and B, you just need to find your C using this formula. Kenapa kena cari C? Because your C ni yang akan tentukan you punya location or coordinate for your foci. Uh, so, kita tengok balik. Uh, your ellipse will be 
horizontal. Maksudnya yang horizontal tu yang berubah adalah di koordinat paksi X. Meaning that you need to plus or minus this C di koordinat paksi X. Which is this one lah. So your center is 4. This is your center. Kalau ke sini tambahkan dengan square root 7. Kalau ke belakang tolakkan dengan square root 7. And this is your vertices and also this is your vertices. How do I find my vertices? Uh, sebab dari sini ke sini maksudnya jarak dia adalah A. Kan? Okay, so dari sini ke sini jaraknya adalah 